Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to change the way that our touches increase because right now let me show you when I touch the screen you'll see that that number goes up but not the actual bananas and we want the bananas go to go up and also we're going to make it so that instead of just going up one it will vary with other stuff so let's get started so I'm going to open the scripts and the scripts that we're going to need is the touch stuff and the banana handle script and remember right now we had this right now we had the taps represented by this score and we don't want that we want it to be added we want them to be added to, to here so I want to delete that text and everything that has to do with that text over there with that tree that is increasing and that text is this text over here so I delete it there you go and the other one I can actually put it over here so that you can see it better okay and with that done in the touch step script let's take a look uh, we had this i variable that well, that represented the touches that represented all of the times we touched the screen so we're going to delete that and also delete it here in the top and also we had here the public text score which was the that text that we just deleted that was over here so I'm going to delete that as well and I'm going to delete when we made the text be equal to the i variable okay all of that is not deleted and now I want to create a function in the banana handler script that handles whenever you tap the screen so first I'm going to create here the name for the function I'm going to make it a public void screen tapped I don't think that we made that function already okay and now we want to call this function in this script and how can we do that using references so we have to create a reference to this script mainly to this script in here so let's make here a public and the name of the script is banana handler and just name it bh and now we're going to drag the instance of the script that we want to to call so here so the banana the touch stuff script is in the banana sprite so here it is the space that we just created and we're going to drag to there the banana handler game object because it's there that is this script over here so if I drag the banana handler object into here to find the script and now that instance this instance of the banana header script is now here okay and with that then we can now call this function see because this function is public we can call it through here so remember before here was where the the i was increased so instead of increasing i now now all you need to do is to put here bh which is the, the script, the banana handler script reference, and we want to call the function called screen tapped, like so. And right now, every time that you touch the screen, it will call this function. And that function right now doesn't do anything. I'm just going to show you, show it uh, do a simple thing, you know which is adding to the previous number of bananas one you know something simple if I hit play and I tap the screen you can see that the number of bananas is increasing just like we wanted but imagine that we want we don't want to only to increase one banana at a time and we want that to be dependent on some other stuff so let me give you an example let's suppose that I want to count this number to to be to depend on the number of elements that we have in the shop so how can we make it depend first off we have to know how many elements there are in the shop and for that I'm going to create here int called item count and for this I, rec I recommend you watch the 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 tutorials about the shop and mainly the tutorial where we did this and what this did was increasing the bananas per second and 
and what we can do is at the same time that it is increasing the balance per second we can also count the number of items and how can that increase well the number the item count or the number of items is plus equals so it's equal to the prepin item count plus item dot count and with this we are sorting through every item in this shop items array and we're finding the number we're finding the quantity that we have of each one and we're, we're adding to the item count it's that simple and with this then uh, I'm going to make this some kind of upgrade so only if you have an upgrade bot this thing will, will work this item count thing so I'm going to create here two variables one is a public bool public bool depend on items okay and we're going to also create here a, a float it doesn't have to be public float count tap value which is the value of each tab okay and going back to the screen tap function where we that was called every time that we tap the screen we can first put here the total value to be equal to to the tab value okay and that will be done in the end here we're going to check for that upgrade so if dependent on items then we want the tab value which is supposedly zero and we can set it as one for starters it can be any anything but whatever if depends on items is active we can make the type the tab value dependent on that item count variable that it created so item count times I don't know like 0.4 floats something like this you know and now every time that we click that we tap the screen it will this will be the value of the tab value and you can even add more upgrades over here let's for instance add over here another public bool bool upgrade upgrade a touch and now and with this bool does is that if every touch counts twice so if upgrade a touch then the tap value is equal to the tap value times two you know stuff like this you can and this is how you want to do the upgrades there's other ways that, but that's the this but that's the way I do it and it works correctly anyways I'm going to hit save and if I hit play if I tap the screen I get only one banana as you can see but imagine that we're going to the buttons banana handler and activate that that and activate the upgrade touch so now every every touch will be doubled so because I only have that upgraded that upgrade on every time I touch I get two bananas okay and now I can even make it dependent on items so let's buy some items let's get some monkeys and some trees and now we have four items and remember that we made it multiply by 0.4 so if I put this variable so if I check this upgrade then every but every tab will give us 1.6 bananas and because the upgraded touch is on then we can instead of 1.6 it will be 3.2 so now we get tons of bananas and that's it guys thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one